Madden NFL 24, where we'll see teams who have been division rivals since 1961. It's the Green Bay Packers and the Dallas Cowboys on Sunday night primetime. Well, the roof is closed, but as you can probably tell, the mouths of these Cowboy fans could not be more wide open. It is a frenzied AT&T Stadium in Arlington. Today, boy, what a matchup. Two NFL franchises with so much history, so much tradition, getting set to do battle here. As it'll be the Green Bay Packers taking on the Dallas Cowboys. The Packers offense set to go. Here's Love looking to pass on the first play. And he will go down. A Cowboys sack. Chauncey Golston. Give him the credit for the sack and a loss of 14 yards. How about the defense there and try to set the tone on the very first play of the game? Yeah, there's a little bit of a glow here tonight because they brought the heat right out of the gate. What a good job establishing the tone for this one. Throwing on second and long. Love. Pass caught, it's Romeo Dobbs. They sure put the coverage guys in a stress on that one. They thought they were going deep. Ends up curling inside for a nice chunk of yardage. And this opening drive not going to plan. This is now third and 13. To throw now, here's Love. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. A big play there as they get the conversion on third and 13. That's a play that may get lost in the grand scheme of things, but one thing's for sure. You certainly don't want to go three and out to start the game. So that's a nice job of finding the right play call and coming up with a first down. Running on first down is Jones, but he's not going to get much. Maybe a couple, and it's second down. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. Now a nice throw here right side. He hauls it in. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 32-yard line. It's a pickup of 16 there, and it'll lead to a new set of downs. What I love about watching the passing game nowadays is that the one-dimensional receiver is really starting to leave the game. You've got to be able to do it all. Of course, you've got to run fast. Of course, you've got to catch the ball. But route running savvy and toughness, there's a premium for all of that now. And he's able to work his way down inside the red zone to the 19-yard line. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. Quite the opening drive march they're on right now. It looks a lot like what we saw in practice prior to the game, doesn't it? You know, because on that last big practice beforehand, you go through your offensive script. You go through your play calling. You go through all the stuff and establish things. And it looks like it's going like clockwork right now for them saw the linebacker Damone Clark coming through with a stop. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. Second and ten. Off the play fake, Love. They'll roll him out right. And he's going to lose a yard or two. Taken down behind the line. Micah Parsons able to run him down for a loss of a yard. Impressive individual effort there. No one was going to stop him around the edge. Yeah, no doubt about it. And that's why if you play in a 4-3 base and you're a defensive end, that's why you get the big bucks. They count on you to do everything. Defend the run and, of course, get to the quarterback. Under pressure, and they got to him again. Osa Odegizua with the effort there to earn the sack. But it's about how teams are so competitively matched and you just want to make those plays that give you an advantage. How about right here? The difference between letting them score a touchdown versus holding them to a field goal, that's absolutely huge with the play he just made. And you know he hated taking the loss there on third down. And this one is right through. And the Packers are off to a 3-0 lead. So the opening drive does yield points, maybe not the seven they wanted, but they'll take the three. 
accumulating first downs does not go up on the scoreboard, but it does go into the DNA of a team that's trying to establish itself to start a game. That has to feel pretty good for them. They'll take the three. Yeah, they had three first downs and three points. Dallas offense set for this next drive. So Prescott to the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 24. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Able to hit his target ram. They'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. I think defensively you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that and you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch, now you put the offense in a position where every series they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. And Pollard going to pick up a Cowboys first down as he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. It's nice every now and then in this game not to see people overthink it. Just hand it to the old reliable guy. Let him pick up the first down. Prescott looks to throw on first. He finds his man complete. It's Lamb. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. 17 yards on the play there, and the Cowboys have a first down. Well, when you're facing a receiver like this, you always come into a game thinking, we've got to put our best corner on him. We've got to find a way to get him off his route, limit his touches. But that plan, not working too well on this opening drive. That's already two catches for him, and this one, good for a first down. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Well, that's not just his first, not his second, already his third completion here on the opening drive. And I, I think it's safe to say that getting him the ball in this game, one of their top priorities. And the top priority for the defense has got to be finding ways to cover him. And I don't think you can have one basic coverage to get it done. You have to th He's got a man complete. And that is caught. Touchdown, Cowboys. Brandon Cooks, 26 yards. And the Cowboys have answered that early field goal to take a first quarter lead. Brandon Aubrey now for the extra point. He's got it. They'll see that opening wide field goal and raise it a touchdown, and that makes it 7-3. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. This fielded right at the goal line. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. The Packers offense here coming back out for their second drive. And they had a long drive last time, but they had to settle for a field goal, and I'm sure that's how it felt to them, settling. They probably should have gotten in the end zone. Yeah, not all now joy, right? Because that's what you get when you put the ball in the end zone. But there are benefits to that type of a long drive. Your defense gets a chance to take a break, adjust a little bit, maybe get themselves ready to get back out on the field and play a little bit better. So they'll take the benefit, even though they wanted the six points. Yeah, maybe wore down the other defense. We'll see. 
I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. Once again, they'll come up on the 26-yard line, second and 10. Love going to give this one to Jones. And they work this well upfield across the 45. That good for 22 at a first down. Well, they came into this game saying it was important that they set the tone and show that they can run the football. I believe that they've done that here in the first quarter. After the run by Jones, here's first and 10. Love. He gets that one complete to Wicks. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. Two chunk plays in a row. The last one was over 20 yards, and so is this one. And now at this point in the first half, you've got to realize as an offense, you're not going to get it all back in one fell swoop. This is going to be about sustained drives and making sure you finish with points. And that's a good throw there for a first down. And he'll be brought down at the 21, just shy of the 20 in the red zone. 48 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. Well, they're making an effort to get the ground game going tonight. So far, it's working. I like what we're seeing from the offensive line. They seem to have the leverage going and they're controlling things and reestablishing the line of scrimmage, moving that defensive front backwards. But also like what the runner's giving us, too. It appears that he's been waiting all day long to get out here and take off. And they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. Two yards, good enough for a first. Second and inches is oftentimes an invitation for an offense coordinator to take a big shot downfield because he feels like he can come back on third down and pick up the first down. But sometimes you just don't want to break tendency. Stay with what you are, stay with who you know, and go get the first down. That's exactly what they did. Now a first down carry by Jones. Try to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. They were in the 46 defense just plugging up the middle. And you know what the 46 means, right? That means you take up the first three guys, the center and the two guards. You cover them with your big people up front. I don't understand why you're trying to run up the middle against the 46 defense. The old Bears showed us it wasn't able to be done. They didn't get it done on that one either. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. On third down, Love. And that went to the right side and incomplete. Smart move before that one away. Good field goal range, so you definitely don't want to be loose with the ball. And that's great work by this defense to force a fourth down. So off goes Love, on is Carlson for the Packer field goal. This one from 35 yards away. And his kick is good. And they'll get it back within a point at 7-6. Well, good start for him in this one here in the first quarter, and he's now two for two on field goals. And I know while the offensive coaches are telling their guys, hey, let's leave the kicker out of it unless it's an extra point, this could pay dividends if this game is tight down the stretch. His confidence is going to be sky high if they need him for a big-time kick. Carlson back out there now to send this one away. Oh, a good looking return set up here. And good starting field position. He'll get this one all the way up to about the 35 yard line. Second drive forthcoming here for the Dallas Cowboys. For this offense, Charles, remember the last time they were out here, marched it nearly the full length of the football field, and a lot of the attack went through the air, so now they're seeing if they can duplicate that performance. Okay, if I show my age a little bit, partner, because I can hear my high school coach, John Ford. I can hear his voice in my head. Laddie, when you put the ball in the air, three things can happen, and two of them are bad. 
But the way the game's being played now, this is just part of what they do. So I don't think they should change anything at all. They've been dominant. Keep throwing it around. Prescott on first down. That's dumped off to Poe. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. After one, a one-point game, 7-6. to six. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Cowboys in possession. They'll come up on a second and four now from the 40-yard line. Looking to throw, Prescott. And this one quickly to land. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers' 27-yard line. 13 yards as the quick slant keeps the drive moving. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and get the quarterback a really nice target. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the five at the six. They go right back to him for 20 and a first. Just picking up yardage in bunches here these last few plays. They have moved right down the field. And just like that, they're going to be set up with a first and goal. They'll go with Pollard here on first down. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Tony Pollard, a six-yard touchdown run. And the Cowboys are able to extend their lead. A solid blocking up front from the guys on the offensive line allowed him to get in for the touchdown. Yeah, some might say that the guys on the offensive line were in concert. I used to have a coach who called it marrying up, meaning when you get on a guy, you just stay right there. Each guy has his own assignment. That allowed the runner to make the big move towards the end zone. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. Nixon elects not to return it, and this comes out to the 25. The Green Bay offense now about ready to take possession here. They've probably got some adjustments to make because they've moved the football okay at times, but they haven't been able to get anything consistently going, have they? What you worry about is it almost turns into a basketball game where one team's coming down and hitting threes, and you're coming back and getting twos, and you steadily lose ground. In this situation, you're talking about touchdowns to field goals. They want to put in the end zone and put those sixes on the board. Yeah, they've been settling. That's why they're down on the scoreboard right now. Micah Parsons. That is now two sacks for him here in this first half. Pass protection has been a problem all night long as they come up facing second and a bundle. Here's Love. That's complete. He finds Jaden Reed. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 30. A good pick up there. 13 yards as they get closer for third down. The Packers on third down. Just one for three thus far. This will be third and six. Love now. And the count. Pressure gets there this time for the sack. Taken down for the fifth time this game. Multiple defenders there to get him. But well, Charles, this has been something to watch so far. This is where you really feel for a quarterback. He's been running for his life in this first half. Brandon, that's five sacks already, so you know he's got to be saying, can we get some more guys in here to block, please? Because if we don't, we're going to need another quarterback. 
Now a fair catch is called for and taken a few yards across midfield. A special teams mistake there, no doubt. Just 26 yards officially on the punt. And out will come the offense as they take over. So Prescott of the Cowboys now with a first and 10 on their side of midfield at the 47. So the drive's going to start with Pollard. And this will be taken across midfield and into Green Bay territory. And give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. The passing game's been working quite well so far, but the running game's been a little bit of a struggle, and that's a surprise to me. Typically, when you can throw it, you've opened up lanes for your runners. From the 48-yard line, here's the second down and six. Prescott. Michael Gallup. First target, first catch, and a first down. They kept the receiver in the short field, but that let his quarterback get the ball quickly to him before either guy in double coverage could react. On play action, Prescott in trouble, and he's taken down. Making that play on the pass rush, that's Devontae Wyatt. Chalk that one up to bad acting, I guess, because they certainly failed to sell the handoff, and the pressure stayed keyed in on the quarterback. No Oscar awards for this offense, just a loss of yardage. Got to imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18, and he'll get this into enemy territory, but not by much as he's down to the 48. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. He'll fire deep downfield for Lamb. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. Zone coverage there, and they were playing deep. That makes it obviously a little bit harder to run by guys. And that time, there was not much of a window to get the ball in there, and it winds up incomplete. On is the punter, Brian Anger, to kick this one away. The back deep is Jaden Reed. And they won't risk defending a return here. That one's out of bounds, and it'll be spotted, spotted at the 14-yard line. The Packer offense now ready to get back onto the field. Now they're about to come up on drive number four, but so far just two field goals on drives one through three. Wondering if the head coach has talked with his offense coordinator and said, look, let's, let's go ahead and press this a little bit. I'm giving you four downs on just about every occasion to try and get this offense kick-started and have it culminate in touchdowns. You know, maybe something to press it a little bit. This might be the case. Just a little beyond the reach there of his receiver. That's probably one he wishes he had back. He wishes it had been seven on seven in practice or maybe even routes versus air because that's a completion he makes, what, 9.9 .9 times out of 10? Just missed that one. A second down throw for Love. Pressure gets to him and down he goes. Back at the four-yard line. They'll wind up losing 10 on the sack and it'll lead to a third and long. I'm starting to wonder if this offensive line just simply doesn't like him. I mean, they've given up six sacks in this game. He's had nowhere to go, nowhere to run, and obviously nowhere to hide. And all those sacks in the first half, this is just complete domination. No gain on the play there, and it'll bring up fourth down. They needed a lot of yards there. They run it and come up just a little bit short. Yeah, and give a lot of credit to the defense because they didn't back off and play so loose that there was room to run. They were right there and stopped it for no gain, even in a long yardage situation. The Cowboys about set to take over on offense. Obviously not the intended goal last drive. They had to punt the football, but still they've got the lead here and now a chance to add on to that lead if they can get points on this drive. First and 10 upcoming. They'll run left with Pollard. They juked him. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. 
14 yards, good for a Cowboy first down. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think they had three tight ends in on that sack. And these guys are punching really well. I use boxing analogies a lot. A lot of coaches have told me that when you line up to run the football, it's 10 fist fights along the line of scrimmage, right? You've got to win your share. These three tight ends, they almost always win their fist fights. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. But well, there was no trace of nervousness there. He was able to diagnose that play from his linebacker position, stay in excellent coverage, and bat the ball away. Second and ten. Off the play fake, Prescott. And this one is incomplete. I didn't like the look of that play right from the beginning. I thought he should have seen the coverage that was there, tried to force it in. That one, he's fortunate, just fell incomplete. Now they face a third and 10 after back-to-back -back incompletions. Here's Prescott. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And they are able to stop him, but he does take it all the way to the two. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still... And he'll get in! Touchdown, Cowboys! Tony Pollard with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Cowboys go up by two touchdowns. But just power football there down near the goal line. Give it to him. He's able to push his way across. Yeah, they went heavy there. Sometimes you have those big offensive linemen come and have to report like they're eligible. But all they're doing is getting a good stance, blocking, and getting the runner across the goal line. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. Keyshawn Nixon now going to bring it out of his end zone. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. It's a foot race. And they are not going to catch him. He's in. Touchdown. That was a special return, and it happened because he's a special returner. He has to have that approval from his special teams coach's head coach to bring it out of the end zone. But let's be honest, a lot of times where they bring it out of the end zone like he did there, they don't have approval. I mean, I, I think a lot of times they do, but correct me if I'm wrong, sometimes it's just a guy getting a feel, right? Yeah, exactly right. What's the old adage? Sometimes you just have to know when to break the rules. And if you do, you're taking on some responsibility, but he was happy to do so there. So let's try this again. After the kick return TD, here's yet another kickoff. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. A good balance attack for that last touchdown drive they had. Now it's time to see if they can do that again. It really becomes a tale of two play callers, doesn't it? 
The offensive guy, he's in sync. Everything is working pretty well for the defense. Yeah, what's guy, going on on the defensive that's side? That's a line. tough one because he's prepped all week as well, and he can't get a bead on exactly what they're doing right now. What he needs is one of his guys just to make a big play and disrupt things. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. No sense risking anything there on first down, even though he's still in the pocket. He had a receiver out to his side, so he'll just put that in a spot where the only people who could make a play on it are the trainers and the coaches. Well done. Now a second and ten. Throwing. Prescott. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. Well, they approached this drive with a lot of confidence after the last one ended up as a touchdown. But incompletions on their first two throws has them huddling up and trying to figure out a big play here on third down to get their momentum going again. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. Now Prescott. And that will be incomplete. Give them credit for excellent coverage, tight coverage. They're doing a lot of things that we talk about in basketball. They're causing disruptions in the passing game. And as long as that continues, it'll be tough for them to gain any momentum throwing the ball downfield. Here's Brian Anger now as he'll kick it away for the second time. And a fair catch called for and made just inside the 35-yard line. A 40-yard punt, no return. And they will take over first and 10. They'll start out on the ground with Jones. Takes it to about the 37. They suspected it. It was a power play up the middle coming at them. And boy, were they right. That defense got downhill in a hurry and limited them to just a couple on first down. So from the 37, here's a second and eight. On play action. Love to throw. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. To pass, here's Jordan Love. Completed out left to Dobbs. And he's going to have a Packers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Now it looks like we'll get a timeout, and we will. We've got an injured Packer on the field. While they come out and take a look at him, we will step aside for just a moment. Jordan Love, ready on first down here. Setting up the screen here, Aaron Jones. And they'll work this down to the 40-yard line, tackled there. 14 yards, good for a Packer first down. And this pass rush has really been bringing the heat and has already gotten home a few times here in the first half. So how about the play call there? Sometimes if you can't protect, you've got to fool them. Screen passes like that can take a little steam out of what's been a relentless rush so far. Now throw there by Law, pulled in by Reed. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. 23 yards on the play. Brandon, what's even more impressive is that came against double coverage. He gashed them with that reception, even with the extra focus that he drew from the defense. Now a draw play. This is Jones. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. When a draw works, it can be a thing of beauty. But when it doesn't, oh, it can be ugly. And in this case, loss of yardage ugly. Maybe just a slight detour on what's been a strong drive. Here's second and 11. Throwing. Love. 
Well, that one too wide and incomplete. And here you're down in the red zone. You need to be smart, not force anything. So that's a wise decision to just get rid of the football. A long way to go here on third down for the eighth play of the drive. On the delay, Jones. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. Now the Packers going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 14 seconds to go in this first half. Second and goal. Got to give credit where it's due. Really nice defense on that play. The pitch and catch was successful, but not any run after it. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. Love looking to throw it. Touchdown, Packers! Tucker Kraft. In the final seconds of the first half. And the Packers are able to cut into this lead in the final seconds of the first half. That's one of the better examples of clock management I've seen. Whittled it all the way down just about and still put the ball in the end zone. Yeah, just a methodical drive and something really to take into the lockers here. A little surprising they wouldn't go for two, but this is up and good. And this is now a one-point game. Four seconds, all that remain here this first half as the kick gets away. And taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard line. And the Cowboys going to go on offense one final time in this first half. One second, all that remains. The final second ticks by, and that's going to do it for the first half of play. So we've reached halftime in a wild first half. We'll take a minute to catch our breath as we send you. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. The Cowboy offense set to go to begin this third quarter. And Charles, they've got the lead. Put your coaching hat on here now. What's the game plan for the second half? I think getting the running game going a little bit more because I thought in the first half they didn't get it moving the way that they would like. They had success throwing it, but I think these first couple of drives, they'll want to get those running backs going and give them more opportunities, and I will guarantee you that those guys were lobbying for them in the locker room at halftime. 44 yards rushing for him now with a couple of touchdown runs to boot. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. Short completion, just four yards at its second down. It'll be a handoff to Pollard, and he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. 
Now they're going to be dealing with a third and seven. Is that one officially a loss of one? And plays like that are exactly what this defense needs here early in the second half to give it a little spark. I think their halftime adjustment, what they talked about, maybe it's just a little inspirational speech. Who knows? But it looks like they're ready to go. On third down, it's Prescott. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers 35. 17 yards on the pickup there. The drive will continue. Whenever we talk about moving the sticks and controlling the football, there's a great example right there. Those are the third downs you need to convert to win football games. We're in the third quarter of this one, and this is a tight one. In order to maintain pace, keep the ball away from the other team and put points on the board, those are the plays they need to continue to convert. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. They've got the lead early here in the third quarter, and runs like that are how they established that lead in the first half. I love the fact that you're using the word lead because they are leading from the front, pounding on the defense right now with the running game, and truly establishing themselves here in the second half. And all the way down inside the five to the four. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. And he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Tony Pollard taking it in from four yards out. And the Cowboys take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. Aubrey now for the PAT. And with that, the lead is up to eight. So after the touchdown, Aubrey's the 20 to the 24. So here are the Packers now. They get set for their first possession of half number two. And the points, they have come fast and furious in this quarter. You really don't want to be on the defensive side of the ball right now, do you? Because you're either thinking, my replacement may get an opportunity. <laughs> Your head better be on a swivel. Totally. Or maybe I just need to get out of the game for a while because I just can't slow these guys down. They've got to figure out a way to disrupt these offenses. And typically, one guy makes a big play, and that can help change things. And they'll be looking for disruption on both sides right now. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out, and they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. And a second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. At this point in the second half, one mistake on a forced throw could doom your chances of a comeback. So that's the right call there to just throw that one away. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. Love. Sack. Chauncey Golston, his second sack of the night. This offensive line flat out cannot handle this pass rush. We've seen it demonstrated time and time again to the tune of seven sacks in this game thus far. On now is the Packers punter as he'll come on to kick this one away. And here's a very low line drive, almost whiffed on it. Possession of the football going back to the Cowboys. And that last touchdown drive, a good mix of pass and run. Defensively, they just looked a little out of whack. And it's so hard to stay up with an offense that has things going so well where you're guessing and guessing wrong play after play. So what you need 
is someone on the defensive side of the yeah, ball leader, right? to make a big play. Yeah. Throw that balance out of whack. That's what you're looking for now. Not worrying so much about guessing what the play call is. 67 yards for him on the ground now and three touchdowns to go along with it. I think we all suspected that they were going back to him after he found the end zone on his last carry and they kept the positive momentum going there. Another nice run by him. Going to run again here with Pollard. And he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. Play fake. Here's Prescott. And that one drops down, incomplete. Good coverage there, forced the ball free, and it's second down. He did an okay job of absorbing the hit, just couldn't secure the football through the catch. And he was right there on the spot and forced the incompletion. That's something defenders work on all the time. If you're there, make the contact, but continue to work your way through the receiver so that you can't possess the football and turn it into a catch. All right, rifles one, that's going to be intercepted. And the Packers are going to have it here at their own 32-yard line. They'll try and get the running game going with Jones. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here, second down. <laughs> I know we can't hear what's going on in that huddle right now, but I'll guarantee you at least one offensive lineman is saying, my bad, we simply couldn't move him off the line of scrimmage. We've got to do a better job trying to root those guys out of there. Here's a second and eight. Up the middle, Jones. And hard running's going to get him over the 40 to the 42. It'll go as a gain of seven on the play, and it sets up a third and in inches situation. And that's the kind of run that gets everyone excited on offense. And you know, oftentimes the guys who carry the ball are the ones in the huddle doing the chirping. Right now, I think it's the offensive line telling them, run it again. We are right there about to break a big one. They'll try and run for it with Jones. And he's going to have a first down as he's brought down at the 44-yard line. Well, after an interception, last thing you want to do is go three and out, give the ball right back. They avoided that. Yeah, you definitely do not want to do that. I remember in college, I played with a really big-time player on defense. We ended up getting an interception as we passed the offense coming out. He told them, if you don't take care of this football, you have to answer to me later. You definitely want to take care of it, pick up first downs. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. The loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. Uh, that's a tough one right there. He ran right into the teeth of the blitz as the linebacker was freed up in order to stuff that one for a loss. I think quarterbacks got to see that. Got to find a way to audible into something a little more advantageous. And very little daylight there. He'll get a couple up to the 44. They know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. Now he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Stephon Gilmore, and he's able to get it back here to the 43-yard line. Following the interception, here's Prescott. A short one there taken in by Ferguson. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And that will bring up second down. Now that tight end position, it just seems to continue to evolve every year in the NFL. Yeah, you're getting really terrific athletes. A lot of them maybe were wide receivers at one point. They continue to give you speed, great hands, and big bodies, which make them excellent targets for quarterbacks. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. The turnover put him in great field position. They don't want to squander it with third down coming up. No, not at all. And you know what else you do? You make your defense mad. Yeah. They got you the football, gave you a great opportunity. you got to cash in and get some points. The line to gain is the 33 on third down. Prescott now. And that is incomplete. 
Oh, that's going to hurt a bit because they needed to come through with a completion there. Now a drive that started with great field position is facing fourth down. So now they're going to send out the field goal unit to, as they say, fire away from long distance. This will be from 56 yards out. And his kick is good. He got every bit of that one as it's good from 56 yards out. So after four touchdowns in the game for this offense, this time they're forced into taking the three. But you did mention four touchdowns, right? So four out of five, not too bad. I think that's a pretty good record for them. So after the made field goal, back out is Aubrey to kick this away. Nixon elects not to return it, and this comes out to the 25. And Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field. And we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive, in particular if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Yeah, and some guys, you know they're going to want to try and get a big play right away and take control back. Others, they're going to look to hit a couple shorter passes and get a little momentum back that way. But for the defense, that goal's not changing a bit. They want another pick. You're exactly right about that. In fact, you've got to watch them a little bit because in coverage, they may cut down their gaps a little bit, maybe their splits a little bit in order to try and get to the ball even faster. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. Again, it's Jones. And some room to work. And they've got it well across midfield down to the 40 before it's all said and done. 111 yards for him on the ground now. He has been a tough man to bring down all night. Good, strong, explosive run that started inside, which means you've got to control those defensive linemen, the defensive tackles, the nose guards. Those guys have to be controlled. How about the offensive line, the job they just did? Yeah, key that A-gap usually on those runs, right? That's where it all starts because everyone wants to kind of control that area. It disrupts things from the defensive side and the offensive side. As we just saw, it opens up possibilities. One quarter remains here on a Sunday night. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Back now here on EA Sports. Here now second and nine from the 39-yard line. It's the Packers who have the football, but in need of points. Oh, the pressure gets to Love, and he'll go down. Micah Parsons bringing the pressure yet again. That's his third sack here tonight. Remember, throughout my career here in defensive coaches, I always say, guys, you've got to earn the right to rush the passer. Well, they put themselves in a great spot with this big lead, and they know they've got to throw the ball. These pass rushers have to be salivating. It is pin your ears back time indeed. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. Had the right idea there, trying to throw it to the sideline, but he led him just a little bit too much trying to get it out to his receiver. Ends up falling to the ground incomplete. On now is the Packers punter as he's on to punt for the fourth time tonight. Oh, it's a wobbler here. This is taken at the 23. Officially just 27 yards there on the punt. And now here come the Cowboys. Now there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away? Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. A first down throw for Prescott. He'll find Lamb. That's complete. So five yards here, five on the play. 
And that'll bring up second down. One of the feature points of the end route is being able to make a nice throw to the middle part of the field. And for a quarterback, that's one of the better throws and better looks that he'll get. But he has to be careful not to wait too long and let his receiver wander into some tough territory. If he's late with the ball, he can get his receiver hit and hit hard. And he'll get about three up close to the 35. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. He's letting it fly for Cooks. It's caught inside the 25. A big play here for Dallas. 42 yards. And this is seemingly how it's been all game long. This defense has been just a step too slow. And here they're burned again. Another big play. So the big play gets them all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. To throw is Prescott. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Well, the secondary has really struggled today, but that's a little bit of a measure of revenge, isn't it? And it just followed the basic rules. See ball, knock ball away, turns into a nice play. Here's second and 10. Prescott to throw it. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. He didn't just deny a big throw there. He broke that one up in the red zone. An excellent play, one that may help save points on the board when this drive is over. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have him looking at third and ten. Now they'll try and set up the quarterback draw here. Call it no gain on the keeper, and it's going to bring up a fourth down. They'll turn things over to Brandon Aubrey now for the field goal. He hit his first, this one from 40 yards out. And his kick is good. And that will extend their lead even further. So that maybe not a knockout blow, but I, I suppose certainly every little bit helps when you're trying to salt one away in the fourth. Well, the possibility of being beaten by two late touchdowns or at least sent to overtime does exist. But time, definitely a big factor at this stage of the game, is in their favor. Up across the 20 to the 21 yard line. Now trotting out there, the Packers getting ready to go. See if they can put this drive in the end zone, Charles, because it, it's been a little bit of a rough go at times. They've had to punt the football a ton in this ball game because of stalled out drives. So are you saying that you're kind of tired of seeing the punter? run out there and do his thing during this game? Is that what you're trying to say? You, well, I mean, I'm okay with it. I have a feeling that this offense, they don't want to see the punter again. And frankly, the punter doesn't want to run out there anymore himself. He'd love to see his offense put together a drive and give his leg a rest. Not a huge play, but I think they're more than happy with how it turned out. Don't be surprised to see them revisit that call because there was a lane there for more than just five yards. Put it in your back pocket and break it out when you need it later. Love now. And the Cowboys pressure gets there this time for the sack. Damone Clark fought his way through and buried him behind the line. Oh, you can just see it in their body language. They're starting to see victory on the horizon now. And if it comes to fruition, they got to give a game ball to the front seven. Defensive line has taken charge and controlled this game. Face a challenge of stopping this opposing offense, and they've done so with ease. Love. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Going for the knockout blow right there. I think if I'm up two scores, I'd be worried about an interception. But playing this way is what got them this lead. So you may as well ride it out to the end. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. 
Got to try it here. He's back to throw. And he's brought down. Can't do anything with the football. It's a sack and a turnover on downs. They'll run with Pollard. And not a whole lot there. He does get a couple, taking it from the five down to the three. Well, they made the play there, and I'll guarantee you their coaches and the other players are screaming at them about their pride. Come on, guys. He's already gotten in three times. You can't give up a fourth one. And on that play, they were able to make the stop. And you knew they were going to go to him to try to get that fourth. And why wouldn't they? It's not just getting the fourth. He's the hot hand, so to speak, right? The hot and he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Tony Pollard, a three-yard touchdown run. And the Cowboys have put this one to bed here in the fourth quarter. Well, this, of course, set up by the stop a moment ago on fourth down. And now that might be the score that puts this one officially out of reach. And it's a tough one because your hands are tied when you're losing in the fourth quarter because you know you've got to make something happen. They couldn't pick up the first down. And after that, the air just went right out of the balloon. And you knew you were looking at a defeated team. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. Nixon elects not to return it, and this comes out to the 25. And now the Packers get set to go. Well, this game, it has had no shortage of offense. They've been able to put up a decent amount of points on this side, Charles. They just have not been able to keep pace with the other offense they're going against here. Yeah, that's a good way of pointing things out because now it's not a total loss because, as you said, They've scored some points, so there's some plays they can build on, moments where the game plan actually worked. But overall, though, they were just out personnel. They were going up against a team that's playing at an elite level. Nice way to start the drive, a gain of 12 and a first down. Well, I can put my defensive cap on right now, and I know they're saying don't give up any big plays now. They've controlled this game throughout, and all they want to do is see it through to the end. I think they let their guard down a little bit with that last completion. Sometimes when you're trying not to give up bigger plays, you don't react as fast as you should on other throws. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. End result of that one, a nice four-yard gain. So you can use that to set up your play-action game, or you can come right back and continue to run the football because as an offensive play caller, you're on schedule and feeling pretty good about your next couple of calls. Now a second down throw for Love here. Six yards, the pick up, and that's a first down. <laughs> to throw now, here's Love. Caught on the right side, Reed. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and it'll be second down. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give him that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. Here's Love. Now throw right side here, going to be incomplete. You know, the trials and tribulations of being a quarterback in this league, it's tough. It's got to be wearing on him out there. Well, he has been sacked a number of times. He had an interception, so I'm going to give him a skosh of credit for hanging in there and trying to make something happen, despite the amount of pressure he's been under this entire game. Again, he'll drop to throw. Short throw. He's got Kraft. And he's going to have a Packers first down by about a yard as they find a way to convert there on third down and five. Well, with his size, you've really got to wrap up because arm tackles, they're not going to cut it. And that time, he used his full-grown man strength to fight off his defender and pick up the first down. 
They will throw again here with Jordan Love. They'll let this go for the end zone. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. And they're at the point of the ball game now where they've got to take some chances. They've got to put the ball in the air and just see what happens. But this defense knows that all too well. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Back to throw again. That is incomplete. And now offensively, it's third and ten. And I'm just thinking to myself, actors always say, what's my motivation before a big scene? Right now, the play caller's thinking, what have I done before that's worked well that I can go to right now? Yeah, because they were pretty successful in the first half scoring points. Haven't done anything so far here in the second half. On third down, Love. Now he had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. That's coverage you'd expect to see in a tie game late. Not in a lopsided game like this. They are not letting up. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter. Let's see how this plays out. Now they go for it on fourth, but this one is going to wind up incomplete. The Packers unable to pick up the first. And this 10-play drive winds up yielding nothing. Well, that's another mistake there on the drop pass on fourth. And we've seen them do things like this all game. It's not hard to figure out why they're down by that deficit. They haven't made plays that are going to keep them in the game or win the game all game long. That's another example right there. It all boils down at the end of it to execution. Either you make the play or you don't. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. An ideal beginning of the drive there is they'll get 20 and a first down. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. And now a fake there on the jet sweep as they'll give to Pollard. And for one of the first times all night, he is going to go nowhere as they bury him behind the line. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. Well, that was one of the few times they've been able to contain him thus far. He's over 100 yards for the game, but he lost a bit off his total on that carry. On third down, it's Pollard, and he is going to lose yardage here. That'll back him up two yards and also bring up fourth. This offense has had a lot to like in this game. I don't know that that last play, though, is going to make the highlight reel. It's not going to make the highlight reel, but it will be the focus of the film session that the team has to sit through. I've sat through those before. Never any fun. You're always excited about your good plays, and they actually fast forward through those. All right, that was good. All right, great. They get to the bad ones and really illuminate them. Not cool. Well, ultimately, not really sure that they're going to need those three points, but they'll take the three, and they pad that lead. Yeah, this one's already wrapped up, but you and I both know. If you're an offensive coordinator, you never let up on the gas unless the head coach tells you to do so. And maybe you've actually clicked him off in your headset so that you can keep calling plays and trying to add to this lead. So after the made field goal, back out is Aubrey to kick this away. Here's Nixon. And he won't quite make it to the 25. The Packers ready to take over offensively. They're down big here late. I don't know. You just one last drive here for pride. 
Some people like to do that. I remember playing for a guy once we were down huge, and someone said, Coach, what do you want to call? He just waved a hand like, who cares? Let's <laughs> get out of here and do something some other time. But some teams like to do something at the end to feel a little bit better yeah. as, they continue to, as they continue to move forward. Yeah, probably just want to put this one behind them. The Packers are going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 25 ticks remaining on the clock. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. Out of the shotgun, it's Love. Oh, and that is incomplete. Well, these guys are not going to go out with their tails between their legs. They're going to keep taking their shots until the clock's at triple zeros. But that one, like a lot of others, winds up incomplete. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Love, they go play action now. And that is incomplete. 16 seconds now on the clock. This has been a rough one to put it mildly for them, and after this one's done, you just feel like at the post-game press conference, this team's going to have a lot of questions and definitely not a lot of answers. So now third and ten. They had the big play to start the drive, but two incompletion sets. Play action this time with Love. Now a desperation throw deep downfield, and he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. Looks like they're going to keep throwing to the bitter end. This one's long since over, but give them credit. They're going to go down fighting. That one, incomplete. On now is the Packers punter, as he'll come on for his fifth kick of the night. And now a low liner. I think he mishit it. And here's a fair catch taken at about the 24-yard line. Well, pretty woeful there, just 23 yards on the punt. And there'll be time for maybe one final play before we hit triple zeros. The defense can stop it twice more as they take a knee here. The partner under the lights in prime time. This offense, they gave the nation quite a show, putting up that many points to come away with what will certainly be a memorable win for them. And, Brandon, I think it's as simple as this. Some players, some teams, they're just meant for the big stage. And when they get a chance to play in this type of atmosphere where all eyes are on them and all the lights are shining brightly, they show up and they show out. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gauden. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. It's a win for the Cowboys as we sign off and say so long from Arlington.